Welcome back, folks. We're on day three of five days of prayer for my nation. The devotional today is, Our Nation is Broken. Yeah, that's quite the title. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of yesterday. Talked about that a little bit yesterday. All right, get digging right into this devotional. Prayer is imperative because our nation is broken. Division is undeniable, and unity is definitely missing. Oh, yes. Racial tension is alarming. Lawlessness abounds. Reconciliation appears impossible. Government cannot fix us. Politics will not heal us. We need God now more than at any time in our generation. It is prayer that precedes and forwards the advancement of the gospel. It is prayer that precedes any great movement of God. In fact, it is prayer that will precede the revival of the church and the next great spiritual awakening. In this desperate and urgent hour, when turmoil and division are evident in our nation and security threats are very real, it is imperative that we do all we can to mobilize unified public prayer for our nation. Paul writes, Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. He writes that in Ephesians 4, verse 3. The present spiritual crisis is calling us to pray for and take all the necessary actions to come together as a nation. God is the only one who can bring unity, harmony, and oneness to our country. Therefore, we look only to Him in prayer. Call upon God to empower us to make every effort to live in unity, call for unity, and to promote unity in our nation continually. Give thanks to the Father. Father, we have been abundantly blessed by your hand upon our nation. I rejoice and give thanks for the divine favor and protection that you have provided. Listen for the Holy Spirit's prompting for confession. Forgive us that we have too often received your grace and favor in vain. We repent of looking for man-made solutions to struggles that need your divine touch. Turn our eyes and hearts back to you, beginning with me. Amen. Join Jesus in prayers of petition. Continue to pour out your grace. Hold back your judgment as you, as you unite your people in prevailing prayer for revival in your church and spiritual awakening in the nation. Proclaim promises from his word. Open eyes to see and hearts to embrace that God's kindness is intended to lead you to repentance. That's from Romans 2 verse 4. And then finally, engage with other Jesus followers in a lifestyle of prayer. Become actively involved in the ministries of the National Day of Prayer, encouraging your pastor and church to become fully engaged. All right, today's scripture is Ephesians 4.3. Okay, again, out of the New Living Translation. Uh, make every effort to keep yourselves united in the Spirit binding yourselves together with peace. And then the next scripture is Romans 2, 4. Don't you see how wonderfully kind, tolerant, and patient God is with you? Does this mean nothing to you? Can't you see that his kindness is intended to turn you from your sin? Ooh. Wow. That's pretty convicting. Isn't it, though? Don't we take that for granted? Yeah. All right, let's talk it over. What's one thing you... That I took? Yeah. So, when we pray for our country, to pray for our unity, for us to unite as one again and not mm. be so divided. Yeah. Because everywhere you turn, there's division. Right now, it's specifically man against woman. I mean, the <laughs> vaxxers against the non-vaxxers. The... You know, the maskers be against the non-maskers. I mean, everywhere you look, there's division in our country. Mm -hmm. Constant, constant division. So, 
Yeah. I think. You know, it's interesting in, in my in my app. I still have the notes that we when we did this for in 2020. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You had a note in here that said uh, the one thing that you took away from this was to pray for others versus debating them. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> Man, I'm pretty pretty smart there. Yeah. <laughs> and humble. Yeah, and of humble. Course. My best quality. Uh, well. So yeah, it's a uh, take. The one thing I took away from this was was similar. Uh, on one hand, so I guess I kind of took two things away because I agree that there's a lot that they're saying there about unity. Think about it. You don't even have to go so far extreme. There's so much division amongst Christians. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, and if we could focus on what unites us rather than what divides us. We might actually have a better chance of, of uh, coming together as a nation. Right. You know, if, if they see all the Christians united. Exactly. Yeah. They might start listening to what we got to say. That's well, true. What's their secret? Right. Because everybody else is divided. There's a group that's, that's showing the unity right. that, that the Lord's calling for there. Right. That's a great. That's a great point. And then the other thing I said, or I took away, was that last. Uh, scripture that we read from Romans, you know, about how wonderfully kind and tolerant and patient God is with us. Right. And doesn't that mean anything to you? How right. often do we take that for granted? You know, we complain about, you know, how we didn't get the raise that we wanted, or right. you know, this didn't go right, or the way that you thought it should go. Exactly. When the entire, th- I mean, the fact that you're breathing. <laughs> right. It is a gift. Is a gift. Exactly. So, let us not take that um, for granted anymore. Either. That's true. <clears throat> all right well i hope this was a blessing to you all today yeah and a deep thought yeah it was and we had some good prayer already for the for our nation yep and uh hope to see you again tomorrow for day three. Oh, let me uh oh no just one more thing real quick yep. i just want to make sure just an administrative thing make sure that if you're catching this in the middle to go back up to the beginning and catch up and download all the we'll have all the downloads and stuff Everything's free. We're not getting anything for any of this. It's not a plug. Just download the, the Bible app, and the specific Bible study will be in the description as well. The and link. You can, and we can uh, do this together. That's all I want to say. Okay. Well, great. I, I want them to do it together. And, and comment if you uh, want to talk it over with us. Continue talking it over yeah. with us. Or send us an email, anything. Yeah. Well, we have We'd to. love to connect with everybody. And uh, we have, uh, we like to bring clarity to those that ask. Yeah, we, we enjoy the connections. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.